Hi, I'm Mike, and over the last couple of videos, I've been trying to get this water softener to work correctly, and I realized the reason that it does not. The resin beads in it are very old. According to Kenmore, which is the manufacturer, the resin beads in this unit will last between 10 and 15 years. The date code on the lid of this water softener puts it at 1995, which makes it 29 years old. So my decision is to either spend 125 bucks for new resin beads, or spend uh, between 350 and 500 bucks on a new water softener. So I'm gonna opt to replace the water softener with a new one, and uh, that should take care of my problems. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do to replace this is turn off the water to the house and then disconnect this unit. All right, the next step is to remove the water supply lines that connect the supply to the softener. Now we're going to get a little bit of water here. The water is off, but the water is draining. That is just excess water coming off of the upstairs. This is done. This can go away. Okay, so a crucial part of installing this is knowing which line supplies the water and which line is the return. On my old softener, this line was to the in and this line was to the out, which suggests the water comes in this, goes through the softener, and goes back into the house through this one. The new softener, the in is on the left side, the out is on the right side. So it does not hurt to test to see which one is the end. I'm going to suspect this one is, is correct as the end because I did have soft water at one point. However, uh, I'm going to test it simply by putting a couple of bags on it. You can use plastic cups. I'm going to flip the water on real quick and whichever bag blows off is the one that supplies water to the softener. Well, as you can see, the incoming water pressure blew off the baggie that I had attached to this, which tells me this one is the incoming water supply. This one returns to the house. So I'll make sure that this gets connected to the in on the uh, new water softener. Okay, so I've been realigning these pipes here to fit into the right spot. So this is my in. This goes into the in on my new softener and goes through and goes back out. This pipe here though isn't cooperating. So I want to get this thing aligned correctly. That's better. There's no play in it. I gotta connect the drain. Okay, time to run the drain line. They give you the drain line in the kit. They do not give you the hose clamps. So remember that when you buy the damn thing. It just goes on this nipple. When you install the nipple, you have to wrap it with Teflon tape three times and then snug it down. 
and then just attach the hose to the nipple and cinch it down with a hose clamp so it doesn't come apart at 2 a.m. when you're asleep and it's regenerating. Okay, the other end goes right here. I'm not going to cut it too short. I'll leave uh, plenty of space in case I need to move it around at some point in the future. and we're getting close to being done all right the next step is to plug this thing in I've got it plugged in an outlet and I'm just gonna plug that into the controller and now I'm going to uh, just um, program this thing I'm not gonna bore you with that I'll be right back all right, so programming this was really easy. You plug in a couple of numbers, your hardness, the amount of salt you're adding in, and it uh, it also had me add five gallons of water for this particular unit uh, and the size before I added the salt, uh, just to prime it and get it ready. Uh, then purge all the lines uh, by opening a faucet nearby, and that's it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's uh, starting to regenerate now, so with any luck, I'll have soft water here, and. Oh, maybe by tonight or tomorrow, depending on how much I use between them. Okay, I hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Have a great day.